It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 25th of November. I'm James Spann. Warmer weather in the days ahead. Alabama looking pretty quiet through the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, but big issues to the west. Let's take a look at things this morning. Big storm developing in the western states. That'll be the focus for the next five days. Upper low is located over northern Nevada and southern Oregon. Around here we have a zonal flow. Not as cold as recent mornings, mostly 40s on the board. Although, look at Tuscaloosa. They're at 35. Muscle Shoals, 39. We'll expect a high in the low to mid-60s today. All right, travelers, if you're headed somewhere, take a look. The east is going to be fine. Uh, today, from Birmingham up to New York City, Boston, you're good. Uh, in the middle of the country, we have flash flood watches coming up for uh, parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas, Missouri. But the big rains will be a few days off. That's just a watch. And then winter weather advisories for parts of Kansas and Nebraska. And winter weather issues are likely down into West Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle in coming days. And out in the Intermountain West in the mountains, big snows for the northern Rockies. Winter storm warnings, Wyoming and Montana. See a few counties in Wyoming under a blizzard warning. So that's the uh, situation. And look at the rain for the next five days. Goodness, the, the big numbers are clustered uh, west of the state, North Texas, southeast Oklahoma, northern Arkansas. The bullseye, 8.7 inches. Around here, really not much. And this is valid through Monday morning. Maybe a little bit for the northwestern corner of the state. But uh, as you'll see in the dailies uh, for where we are, the odds of rain look really small even into early next week. Any significant rain. Part of the reason for those big numbers you see west of the state is this. A hurricane. In the eastern Pacific, Hurricane Sandra, top winds 85 miles an hour. This thing is expected to be a major hurricane tomorrow. Then it weakens as it comes up into Mexico, and the moisture from that will feed up into Texas and Oklahoma. Here's the uh, QPF off the GFS model, uh, valid through Monday of next week. And again, you can see those really big numbers are centered from near the Red River, Lake Texoma, over toward Little Rock. But for us, just not much. All right, model fans, here's the GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at noon. Big storm in the western states, a weak zonal flow here, and we're still dry. Partly sunny today with a high in the low to mid-60s. And again, for the travelers, maybe a few light showers over Texas and Oklahoma. The heavy stuff comes later. The big issue, the snow in the northern Rockies. Thanksgiving Day. It's going to be a white Thanksgiving for Wyoming. Much of Nebraska, Denver probably getting some snow, becoming windy there, snowed up into parts of Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, rain below that in advance of the front from Texas to the Great Lakes, but we're dry. And how about uh, upper 60s tomorrow? The GFS is printing 68. We start the day around 50. Friday, the big shopping day. Rain continues from Texas to the eastern Great Lakes. Snow and ice and sleet, nasty-looking winter weather. Into West Oklahoma, the Texas Panhandle, very windy around Denver. But for us, again, we're dry. For a Friday, the sky will be partly sunny. The high, again, in the upper 60s. Saturday, Iron Bowl Day. We're still dry. Everything looks good, very comfortable. The GFS is printing 72 for Birmingham. We'll expect around 70 down in Auburn for kickoff. Rain to the west, much of Texas. Parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and again, nasty-looking winter weather conditions for the Texas Panhandle in West Oklahoma. If you're headed to Amarillo and Lubbock, Gage, Oklahoma, that looks very icy. And even on Sunday, it's still most of the state not getting wet. Maybe some rain up over far north Alabama, over the Tennessee Valley. The high Sunday well up in the 60s, and Monday we all go back to work. And, you know, there could be a few showers around Monday, but goodness, not very many if this is right. Just some light showers. Tuesday, a weak front tries to move in here. Same thing, not much upper support, limited moisture. So maybe a couple of showers there, but no big deal. Here's a week from today. This is Wednesday, the 2nd of December. Troughing west of the state. We're still dry, really. And finally, on Thursday, December 3rd, we get a good rain with a surface low moving right on top of us. This is the end of the forecast, Friday the 4th, troughing moving through, rain moving on to the east. Temperatures for the next 15 days. You can see those mild afternoons through 
early next week. And then after that midweek rain, we cool down. As December gets here with highs dropping in the 50s and lows dropping in the 30s, and those numbers are below average for uh, early December in our state. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We're on a holiday schedule, so one video per day through Sunday, back to the two-a-days early next week. We'll have forecast notes on the blog throughout the day today. And if you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.